what's up youtube you're watching play the please and today we're making these beautiful peach roses i saw on the internet let's get started all right so taking our puff pastry out of the freezer we're gonna open it up of course and then gently unfold it then we're gonna cut it to size um i wish i would have cut mine bigger i'd probably cut mine about an inch and a half i'll probably do a good two inches or two inches and a half so you have the extra space to work with um it still worked out but if I could do it, if I would do it again, I would definitely give myself more room to work with. But once you got them cut out, or measure how you want to, cut them out. And then we're going to take some peach preserves. And just put a thin layer on the puff pastry. And then we're going to take our very thinly sliced peaches and line them up, overlapping each other slightly. Take your time here. And once you got all the peaches lined up, we're gonna fold up the bottom end so you know they don't fall out and then roll at the same time as we tuck the bottom. It used, takes a little coordination. I had to do about three of them before I finally got it right. But slowly, tuck, roll, tuck, roll, tuck, roll. Voila. Arrows for you. Well, once we get done, we're going to toss them in a pan, slightly buttered, so the puff pastry doesn't um, stick. This is what these babies look like. Pop them in the oven 350 for about 12 minutes. And then when they're done, this is what you're left with. How cute! Now, to bring out the rose shape and kind of unmerk the colors a little bit, I threw on some powdered sugar to kind of break up the monotony of the colors. And so you can kind of see what I was doing there. And there you have it, beautiful rose peach pastries. They're delicious, super easy, and super quick. I love you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.